Hey viewers, welcome to the very first installment of Should You Buy? This is going to be a series that is a little different from typical reviews of different sets, obviously asking and answering the question of should you buy the set. Now for today's video, we are going to be discussing the ATAP. Now guys, as a reminder, the Should You Buy series is dedicated to giving you guys very quick reviews of these sets, three, four, five minutes long, and obviously helping you guys determine whether or not you want to spend your money on the set. So for starters, this is the brand new 2019 LEGO Star Wars ATAP set number 75234, 689 pieces, comes with five figures, two of them are droids. One of them is going to be a Wookiee, and two are going to be clone Kashyyyk Troopers. If you guys were not aware, the ATAP was actually something that was made in 2014 from LEGO, and this is actually a very, very similar carbon copy to that set. But first, let's go ahead and discuss the figures. Number one, we do have Chewbacca in his typical bow caster and his mold that we have seen very, very often. Obviously, not a bad figure. We've gotten this plenty of times, so nothing really great or, or bad to say about it. Now, something I'm very, very happy about in the set is going to be the Kashyyyk Battle Droid, as you guys can see here, with the really different, unique colors, the tinted of uh, green torso for the droid itself as well as the green printing on the top of the battle droid itself now the guns do come in a little bit of like a matte gray color instead of the black which the clone troopers will have this is obviously to signify the different types but included in this set we do have two droids right here which is always really cool to have uh, more droids to add to your army so in the end if you are looking for more Kashyyyk battle droids this is definitely going to be an awesome set for you to increase your army now the fourth out of the five minifigures is going to be the Kashyyyk clone trooper I really really am falling in love with the printing I love the whole aspect of the green and brown foliage kind of camo there is going to be printing on the front and the back of the torso however there is only going to be printing on the front of the pants or the legs as you guys can see here but overall a really awesome figure I do wish we got more of these guys perhaps in some cheaper sets now the last figure included in the 2019 ATAP is going to be clone commander Gree perhaps my favorite Star Wars minifigure that comes in this set now I really am a huge fan of the helmet I like how the green tones mesh in with the details and painting on the helmet but as well as like the eyes where the eyes would go and then we also have some really awesome immaculate printing on the front and the back in the torso and like the other clone trooper the clone Kashyyyk trooper um, there's only going to be printing on the front and not the back of the legs I think the front of the minifigure is super super awesome and this is definitely my favorite one out of the entire set let's go ahead and get on into the vehicle of the set the clone ATAP first things first we'll work top to bottom now number one this is going to be a minifigure placed here for scale for those of you who are wondering how the size compares to the actual minifigures themselves what's really cool is that the top turret gunner right here can sit up on his seat and it also is going to be a spring-loaded um, missile shooter like there is normally in most playsets nowadays that can go right there now the top gun cannot uh, swivel it can only go up and down as you guys can see here now you can lift open the top but inside is going to be revealed a really really nice interior you guys can see a whole bunch of the stickers inside including my favorite sticker and actually one of the really cool aspects of the set which is going to be the guy right here for that sort of control panel and then also is going to be a room for two different clone troopers or two different troopers to be seated while you're actually operating the ATAP itself as for easier access when it comes to putting your troopers in you can also open the side hatch right here and then you could also just place a minifigure through there and the same can be said for the other side where there's going to be a similar side hatch like so overall the walker is pretty sturdy uh, like you would assume it comes with the three legs on the bottom and perhaps my favorite part of the actual ATAP is going to be the whole long turret on the front here now if you'll remember actually from the 2014 version the turret the top right here is nearly identical to the 2014 version now I'm not sure if Lego decided that to save money or because they thought it was really awesome and they just didn't want to change it because if it's not fixed don't break it um, um, but overall, it looks really, really nice, I gotta admit. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Clone Wars, as some of you may know, but I do have to admit the ATAP set is really, really cool. But I'm also happy to be really into LEGO at the same time when they're releasing new Clone Wars sets and new Kashyyyk sets. Now, something I did forget to mention before is the front of the three legs can actually protrude up or down. Um, this is obviously so you can tilt the gun gunner forward or downwards um, however you want, and all legs are posable. Now, the back legs do move. They can move forward and back, as you guys can see here. However, they are not really posable in any other way. You can't bend it in any sort of different direction. Um, like I said before, if you want to angle the ATAP differently, you can angle it like this and then hopefully kind of get it like that. So there it is a little taller um, than usual. And then you could obviously just kind of fix the front leg. And then all you have to do is fix the back legs and then boom, you are all set. And so, of course, that brings you the question of should you buy the LEGO Star Wars ATAP? It does retail for $60, something I did forget to mention in the beginning of the video. So $60 for 689 pieces, including five minifigures, two of which are battle droids. One is Chewbacca and two of which are clone Kashyyyk variants. Would you buy it for $60? Would I buy it for $60? Obviously, I did to get the set here, but would I buy it again? 
unless you're making a Kashyyyk army, unless you want to explicitly get more of the battle droids, or unless you want to get explicitly more of some other troopers, I would say no. I do think the overall build quality is nice. It's got a very sturdy foundation. I'm a fan of different aspects of it, including the play features. But overall, if you're looking to buy more of these, I would say definitely prioritize the minifigures as the main reason for if you would want to get more of these. But should you buy it as just to get one to just kind of try out? Of course. I think it's got great minifigures. I think the parts are really nice, especially if you are a mock builder. Some really nice dark grays, light grays, some greens, and like I said, the figures are really awesome. I think the Commander Grief figure is just super, super detailed, along with the Kashyyyk Scout Trooper, and the Battle Droids, of course, are always great additions to an army. So I would say if you want to buy this set, definitely get it for the minifigures. Also, if you don't have an ATAP like myself, I would also suggest getting it. So guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Should You Buy with the ATAP. I'm trying to change up the system, trying to change up ways that I do these reviews. Hopefully it was quick enough, short to the point. Hopefully the video is not lasting that long. Um, more to come, guys. Stay tuned for the rest of the 2019 sets. As you guys see behind me on my bed, I got some more 2019 sets to go over um, throughout the week. So make sure you go ahead and smash the like button down below. And always, guys, with the new series, let me know what you think um, in the comments section. Give me some constructive criticism, how I could improve these videos. Like I said, the point of these videos are to make it short, sweet, concise, to the point. Ask the question and answer the question of should you buy it. Guys, it's been Matt. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Peace.